in this lesson we're going to be learning and using the rules when you turn a singular word, so we've just got one of something, into a plural when you've got more than one. Plurals are an element of language that occur frequently during written work. And while most learners understand the addition of an S to make a word plural, there are some notable exceptions with rules that apply. Plurals obviously um, come up a lot when children are writing. They're always having to write plurals. Um, yes, yeah, so it is, it is an important piece of learning. I think the important thing is, is that, that also to teach the children that there are certain rule breakers. Um, so it's important that children have rules, but that with the really common exceptions, they, they learn those perhaps as a standalone um, lesson. They're learning about those um, words which do break rules. Useful resources for Sarah's lesson might include whiteboards and coloured marker pens, picture cards of items that have rule-breaking plurals, a grid showing the different ending rules with some corresponding pictures and word cards. So, Lara, what's the end sound of baby? Why? So, why? Why, yes, because the why is making the E sound here, isn't it? In this session, Sarah will be looking at a number of plurals that defy the add an S rule. Words with a Y ending, like baby or lady, where the plural is I-E-S. Words that end with an F sound, like elf or wife, where the plural is V-E-S. Words that end in an O, tomato or hero, where the plural adds an E before the S. And other unusual words like fox, where also an E is added before the S. We knock off the Y and add I-E-S. Can we all just have a little action for this? Can we knock off the Y and add I-E-S? Can we all say that? Knock, knock off, off the Y and add I think using actions is really important. I mean, children like to be moving around anyway. It gives them that kinesthetic cue. Um, and also it's, it's meaning that they're participating in the learning. Um, and often with games, we get games where the children, you know, have to run to go and get a suffix ending to build onto a root word so that children are actually really actively engaged because some children um, learn better when they're, when they're active. Sarah works through a selection of possible plural endings, mindful, because there are many, that they may need to be repeated in other sessions at a later date. Do you know what we sometimes add? What would we add, Roy, to make tomato tomatoes? Do you know how we would do that? The idea is tomato and then es. Perfect, OK. If they can start making connections between their learning and verbalising about their learning and understanding that there are rules, then it obviously helps them because you're not learning one spelling as a standalone spelling. If you, if you know how to spell tomatoes and the ending of that, then it helps you to spell potatoes and volcanoes and heroes. So um, it's all the time about making connections between learning. OK, anyone got? Baby. Yes. Oh, no. OK, you only cross out one of them. Oh, I've got another one here, baby, baby. Oh, yes! A final competitive game is used to reinforce the rules and see how much the learners have taken on board. Wolf! For wolves. Yes, got it. Nine. Children all learn in different ways, which is why it's really important to use that multi-sensory approach because some children um, are very visual learners, so they learn a lot through pictures, so perhaps sort of chaining words or making connections between words with a story and getting them to create pictures oh. is useful. Other children are quite auditory learners, so breaking words into syllables works. And obviously for all of us, the more ways you used to learn something that the better the learning experience is because um, it, it really helps to reinforce that learning. Has anybody got wish Go ahead, for go wishes? Wish. I've won. Oh, shut up, bingo. bingo! So to recap Sarah's approach to teaching plurals. Start with simple examples of words that defy the usual add an S rule. Use pictures to reinforce memory. Create actions to go with the plural rules. Reinforce and assess the learning with a final competitive game.